Uh, welcome back to e-Sikshana program. Uh, I will continue the first uh, module. Uh, last class, I end with the generation uh, rate. Okay, now I will continue the generation rate. Uh, solid waste generator rate estimate the amount of waste okay, by it may be a residential or business area or amount of time, certain amount of time estimated per day or per year. That is called generation rate. Okay. Uh, the generation uh, rate include all the material discarded whether or not they are later recycled or disposed in a landfill. Okay. It may be commercial activity or residential activity used to estimate the okay, development of the local waste system. Okay. That is yearly or day we are estimating the overall waste generated, okay, amount of waste created by the, it may be residential or it may be business over the certain amount of time. Okay, this is the graph of a generation rate, okay, household 40 percent and commercial 25 percent, market area 5 percent, okay, and hotel and restaurant 25 percent, okay, hotel and restaurant. Vegetable market at 5 percent. This is the uh, uh, sources of uh, solid waste generation. It is taken in Pune city, okay, uh, sources of generation rate, okay, per year or per day. They are calculating per year or per day, okay, total uh, waste generated. It is calculated. That is called generation rate. Estimation of solid waste per year or per day. Okay, uh, it may be commercial or a business area or anything. That estimation is called generation rate. We have studied physical composition, chemical, then generation rate. Okay, it is taken in Pune or it may be taken in Karnataka also. We will calculate how much household uh, this one, how much uh, commercial, how much market, okay, uh, how much uh, hotel and restaurant, how much this one. Okay, this is the sources of uh, generation rate. See, we will uh, this generation rate and uh, the calculation part, numeric problem, just I will explain the, this one. Uh, the, uh, assume the refuse of the following components, uh, bulk uh, density and uh, component business paper percentage of 850, uh, garden waste 25 percent and glasses uh, 25 and uncompacted bulk density 3.81. 4.45, 18.45. This is a question they give. Assume the compaction of landfill, uh, 12,000, uh, uh, 1,200 LB uh, divided by Y D cube. Uh, estimate the percentage volume reduction achieved during the compaction of the waste. Estimate overall uncompacted bulk density in a business paper is remote. Okay. Now uh, this one. Uh, this given compacted bulk density, so overall bulk density like MA uh, plus MB plus MC, MD, that is 50, uh, 25, MA 50, uh, MB uh, 25 and uh, another uh, MB means paper 50 and uh, garden waste 25, okay, and uh, glass waste 25, okay, MA, MB, okay, MC, okay, this one. And uh, this uh, divided by the only they have given 3, okay, MD and uh, this is not that, okay. Now, 50 plus 25, this one, uh, divided by 50 MA plus 3.81, MB 25.45 and uh, 25, okay, this one 25 by 18.45, okay. The calculation is 4.981, this is 25.0, okay, calculation is 4.981. 981 LB by FT cube. Volume reduction achieved during the compaction is okay, rho PO uh, rho C is equal to 4.98 uh, divided by 4.4 that is 0 0.11. Okay, this is 3 as given, okay, only 3 and this MA by this one, this one 50 by 50 plus uh, 25 plus this is the percentage of the weight. 
okay the only three given fourth is not given and this one uh, this one ma by rho a it is ma by rho a 50 by 3.81 25.4.5 and 25 by okay 8.81 so second uh, first they are given second uh, this one volume of uh, volume reduction achieved during the composition compaction is rho 0 by rho c it is uh, we got answer 4.88 okay this one uh, this one divided by 44 point okay this is taken that is I assume the compaction of the landfill 45.4 point this we got the answer second one this one okay the uh, so required landfill okay value without compaction the mixed paper is removed we are removed ma by this one is removed okay ma by this one is removed paper waste is removed now 25 plus 25 divided by rho by this one rho by this one okay pd pb by pd we got the answer there okay now f is equal to po by pc this is the final answer okay that is the final answer okay after this this is the final okay this uh, this is the first problem okay next problem we go for the next problem okay find the approximate chemical formula of the organic component of the sample composition of the solid waste has to be set out the following table. Use the chemical composition, obtain estimate energy content of the solid waste. Garden trimming percentage mass is 10, food waste is 25, timber 4, paper 38, cardboard 13, rubber 4, tin can 6 total sum is 100 okay 100 okay this is the question we will go for the solution okay see this is the solution given sample composition following table using the moisture content okay now garden trimming 10 percent okay moisture content by the table 60 percent okay food waste 25 percent 75 percent okay timber 4 percent moster content 25 uh, 20 percent and paper percentage of mass 38 and this one 6 percent moisture content cardboard 13 5 percent moisture content rubber 4 moisture content is 2 tin care 6 and this is 3 now dry mass is equal to 10 minus wd uh, divided by 10 is 60 by 100 it equal to wd is equal to 4 first one dry mass for the garden trimming second one dry mass for the food waste 25 minus wd 25 is equal to 75 by okay 100 wd is equal to 6.25 another timber percentage mass is 4 moisture content is 20 4 minus wd by 4 20 by 100 wd is equal to 3.2 okay dry mass is 3.2 okay and for the paper okay 38 percent 6 percent 38 minus wd divided by 38 okay 6 by 100 wd is equal to dry mass is equal to 35.72 and carbon uh, cardboard 13 and 5 percentage of mass is 13 and moisture content is 5 13 minus wd by 13 5 by 100 wd is equal to 12.35 okay and rubber okay 4 percent of the mass and uh, moisture content is 2 percent okay 4 minus wd by 4 2 by 100 okay it equal to wd is equal to 3.92 and tin can okay 6 by 6 percentage by mass uh, moisture content is 3 now 6 minus wd divided by 6 3 by 100 equal to, uh, dry mass is equal to 5.82 now determine the dry mass mixture without tin can okay tin can okay 4 plus 6.2 3 35.72 12.35 3.92 5.82 equal to 
okay, this is the answer 60.5 determine the uh, diameter without this. Determine the moisture content 100 minus 60.5 or 100 we have taken total okay total uh, this one okay and uh, the 100 minus 1 kg minus 60 point that is 30 point 34.56% okay 34 point this is the uh, determine the moisture value the, okay 100 minus 65.44 okay this is the two uh, numerical problem of the moisture content and this one okay next we go for the very important factor collection of solid waste okay we go we have studied the sources everything sources we have studied now we go for the collection sources over all the different types of uh, waste generator which are the industries it may be commercial or it may be residential it may be everything we have explained now collection is another criteria very important criteria collection how to collect the weight sources they will fill in the container they will keep uh, outside the houses it may be apartment they will keep outside the houses all the sources from the it may be residential uh, domestic it may be industry it may be factory everything they will that is the sources they will okay fill the waste and keep outside now what is the collection how to collect the waste very very important from the commercial from the industry or from the residential okay from the industry or institution we have to collect the waste from there okay it may be filled with a container we have to collect the waste that's a very very important okay collect, collecting the waste one of the major issues vehicle has to go there the route traffic jam one problem in the city heavy traffic heavy vehicle has to move there okay and uh, major uh, this one transportation uh, during the time morning there is a lot of uh, traffic the movement is very very difficult so collection of solid waste is also very very important criteria for the management of solid waste now there are different types of collection okay residential collection okay refuse uh, uh, okay collection system commercial waste collection recyclement three types of collection are there from the residential one of the collection okay residential you have to collect the from the household it may be apartment it may be villas it may be layout we have to collect the waste one thing it is majorly food waste that and a dry waste commercial waste collection okay that's also from the all the cities public uh, properties and uh, it may be government or private or commercial or park hotel everything and recyclable material they are e-waste or something is that recyclable material they are separated in some of the sources it may be a paper it may be anything that one collection three types of collection we have to do from the management okay solid waste management it may be municipality three types of collections from the residential from the commercial from the recyclable material we have to collect okay three types of collection different vehicles we are using depend upon the city okay uh, stationary container empty into the truck uh, in a residential uh, they will take the container the container is filled with the waste full container is taken okay uh, high rate of uh, injury rate is uh, maybe glass or temporary container automatic vehicle is that they will take the waste automatically i will show the vehicle what type of uh, vehicle we are using okay a stationary container emptied into truck okay automatic container two types of container for the residential okay i'll show one by one different types of the vehicle okay this is one of the vehicle we are uh, in abroad majorly in abroad india also now it is we are using this type of uh, vehicle you can see rare loading compactor it will take the waste okay all the waste and uh, okay from the container and this is the one of the compactor we are using nowadays okay another one see this is the right hand uh, okay dry full ejected dump this also this type of uh, this also use for uh, radioactive purpose also where hazardous waste we are using some some are using for waste uh, this one this type of vehicle okay taking all the waste this one side radar loader it will take from the side okay and uh, 
automatic collection is a uh, this one this uh, road should be proper streets should be in india it's very difficult i think okay automatic collection okay we are using other vehicles okay without uh, on street parking low hanging wires it should be there uh, narrow streets should be there uh, where the commitment uh, prevent you uh, maintenance okay and where the commitment uh, educated public okay container this one 60 to 90 kg uh, container okay we i will show the this one vehicle see automatic from here they will uh, take the container to and empty and keep there automatic no this one manual okay it is a 65 and 90 kg on this container they will fill the waste in the container they will take okay here robot type and hand uh, it will take here and fill automatically no manual uh, it is there only driver it will, they will operate take the container and uh, fill the uh, all the waste here this is one of the type of automatic in abroad or in india very difficult because congested road and everything in a big city i don't know it may be used like indoor or uh, i think indoor is the cleanest city uh, in uh, abroad it will majorly used uh, road and uh, everything there this uh, automatically it will come a vehicle take the cut empty there and keep it, okay near the this one okay you can see the automatically um, vehicle which will fill okay other all manually or lifting me mechanically okay me uh, commercial mechanical front loaded horse truck and trash trailers these are the commercial i already saw the residential it may be automatic it may be manual it may be this one okay and the commercial waste collection mechanically front loaded horse truck and trash trailers these are the commercial waste collection okay commercial waste collection see here this is the front loading compactor see front loading compactor they take the waste container to this one okay and load it okay and empty it front loading compactor this is the front loading compactor here you can see the front load okay front loading compactor not a side load front loading compactor it take all the waste and dump that that is the front loading compactor now we go for uh, this one front loading compactor this is the trailers okay a tilt frame horse tilt frame full container it will take it okay and uh, empty in the uh, this one dump yard or anywhere in the uh, transfer station and it will come back this is the okay this may be used in india also okay host in the industry said uh, this one okay uh, this is the type of uh, this one uh, host tilt frame it is used in a commercial okay then uh, we go for uh, this one collection with the recycling okay collection of mixed msw with the storing of mrf single stream collection separated recyclable or msw hand sorting recyclable hand sorting is the process hand sorting at the point of collection collection yard okay like uh, bag bin uh, carts vacuum collection and dual collection with the collection vehicle this is uh, collection of a recycle okay recycling material it may be paper it may be uh, plastic it may be rubber or it may be many things are there recycling okay material hand, hand sorting we will do we will sort it if the manual uh, labor server will sort and we will separate one one waste one on side hand sorting okay hand sorting at the point of the collection bag bin and carts are used for uh, this one automatic required vacuum collection is also dual collection you can see the different types of uh, vehicle in this okay see this is the recycling uh, vehicle collection okay where uh, this is the recycling chamber okay uh, we we will use the different types of uh, recycling waste okay one compartment is this this is another compartment these types of waste carrying in the recycling okay it may be paper it may be plastic it may be recycling materials are okay in a compartment they are collected okay this is the type manually it is collected available or automatically like a vacuum okay you can see the vacuum this one this is a double uh, split body right, for the collection of recycled material 
split body ok loader ok bigger vehicle uh, split body loader and uh, this is the vacuum collector in abroad we are using this one recycle material it may be paper or anything it will suck and it will take ok paper recycled materials which is available in a park market or anything ok it will suck that vacuum by the use of the vacuum ok vehicle vacuum uh, collecting vehicle we are ok taking the vehicle and this way we will uh, collect the uh, waste in uh, for uh, recycling vacuum collector see in the cities some cities ok in good cities we have the proper uh, management this type of uh, vacuum collection this is taken ok uh, it may be in India some uh, state or in abroad it majorly used like a clean cities ok clean city they are using this one ok next uh, this is the types of the vehicles ok different types of the vehicle in the transportation for the commercial uh, for a residential one type commercial one type and for a recycle material also one type these types of vehicles ok these types of vehicles now two types of a collection system this is very important hold container system and stationary container system two types of collection systems ok hold container system and stationary container system two types of collection system hold and stationary See hold container I will explain what is the hold container system ok morning truck will come ok it may be any city xyz truck will come here this is a container filled with the waste the container is taken to the dump yard this is the dump yard anywhere ok dump site empty the waste take the container return there ok keep the container in one place empty container go to the second place ok here fill the all the waste container container with filled with the waste it is taken to the dump yard ok empty the waste in a dump, uh, dump site ok and taken container return the container same place and keep there ok and it goes to the truck will goes to the third side ok third area in example any area third area here it is morning it is filled a container filled with the waste it lift the container moves to the dump yard ok all the waste is emptied and moves to the same place and keep the empty container there ok and goes to the fourth place fourth area ok area 4 it uh, carry the container filled with the waste and empty in the dump yard and go there empty container keep in the same place and fifth place ok fifth uh, any area example go there it is filled with the waste morning it take uh, it, uh, carry the container to the dump yard empty the waste and keep there and go to the same place and keep the empty container this is called hold container system understood no container taken container empty empty container same place goes to the second place Cont lift the container to the dump yard and same place third fourth same way this is called hold container system you understood no container is taken to the dump yard filled uh, waste filled with the container ok and it is taken empty in the dump yard and container keep in the same place and truck will goes to the second place lift the container to the dump yard and empty the container ok filled with the waste container emptied and goes to the second place keep the container empty container there truck will go to the third place ok uh, uh, lift the container and comes to the dump yard and empty the waste from the container and goes to the th same place empty container keep there and go to the fourth place container ok lift the container and all the waste are dumped to the dump yard and empty container keep there for same place and truck will go to the fifth place container is lifted to the dump yard and empty container are ok kept in the same place this is the process is called 
hold container system okay hold container system now we go for uh, another uh, this one the explanation of a uh, collection in which a container used to store the waste hold the processing transfer disposal site emptied and returned to the original location uh, are defined as hold container system okay the container is kept in original location is scl hold container system okay and uh, there are two types of hold container uh, two types okay tilt frame container and trash trailing okay already explained a detail about it okay uh, the collector is uh, responsible for drying the vehicle loading empty container unloading the uh, full container and emptying the content of the container and disposal site in some cases for the safety reason both helper and driver are used in this okay this one used in this and another one is a system that is used to tilt the frame loaded vehicle large container often called a box a drop box and ideally suited for the collection of the solid waste or from a location where generation rate is very high this uh, this one and we go for uh, this one stationary container system hold container over okay lifting the container to the disposal site empty the waste there and uh, same place we are container is called hold container stationary container system see here morning vehicle will come okay this is small container vehicle take uh, all the waste okay all the waste uh, from the manually or uh, mechanically okay it fill and empty container they keep same place okay this is the container filled with the waste and it is emptied and kept here in the same place okay and truck will move to the second place here container filled with the waste okay it take the waste it dump in the truck and this empty container keep here only okay and container will be stationary uh, this one it moves to the third area it is filled with the waste container all the container all the waste in the container taken uh, to the truck and it keep the empty container here only okay and it goes to the next place container filled with the waste empty container okay waste will be emptied there only uh, to it filled with the uh, to the truck okay to truck and uh, container keep the container here only okay next is goes to the four or fifth place fifth place and uh, any wire example any place okay and uh, container is filled morning with the waste okay this waste is taken to the truck empty container kept in the same place okay all their container filled with the waste and it is uh, taken to the truck and or mechanically or uh, manually empty container is kept there only and the container is no uh, it won't take to the uh, dump yard A container here only filled container empty container same container is empty and kept uh, keep there only and it moves to the second that this is called stationary container system okay hold container container is filled waste filled with the container taken to the dump yard and empty there keep in the same place in hold in stationary no okay they will uh, container waste container and uh, container it is emptied there only okay it filled to the truck okay and uh, empty container is kept there only same way this is called stationary container system okay stationary container system understood no container empty container here only this is the same container filled with waste it is kept here after emptying the same container after emptying okay after emptying and loaded vehicle will come to the dump yard or it may be transfer station okay transfer station or dump yard this is uh, called stationary container understood no hold container and very very important hold container and stationary container very important process what is hold and what is stationary they very important okay two types very important okay i explained uh, 
what is hold ok what is uh, this one this is the hold container container is uh, taken to the dump yard and ok empty the all the waste here and containers to stay in place this is a uh, next goes to the it goes to second place container lifting go to dump yard and same process ok now stationary also I explained the stationary process ok this is a stationary process I explained these are very important of uh, transfer uh, system uh, transport system in the ok in a so dump uh, this one uh, solid waste management ok collection system of the container uh, storage remain the point of waste generation most to the collection defined as a stationary container labor requirement mechanical loader stationary container ok same as uh, SCL ok there are two types of uh, stationary container system uh, those in which self loading compactor is used do load in which manually loaded vehicles also used by mechanically it used ok compactor is used and manually loaded are used container uh, size and utilization not uh, critically in self loading vehicle equipped with the compaction uh, mechanical as them as hill ok trip to be disposal size transport or processing station are made contained at number of container collected compacted and collected vehicle ok is full because of varieties of the container size and types available this system may be used for the all the types of the waste ok this is about uh, ok uh, this is about uh, types of uh, two types of collection system hold and stationary hold and stationary two type I explain this is very important what is the hold collection system and stationary collection system ok service and system now very important second one service and of the collection service ok and uh, municipality collection service from low rise uh, detached dwelling and uh, from low medium rise apartment high apartment this service and collection uh, system types of collection system also very important it may be small houses or it may be uh, high apartment rise apartment low or small villa house or anything this collection is very important ok uh, these are the municipal collection or uh, residential collection service uh, the most common uh, type of uh, residential service used various part of country including India or, or anything curb, alley, set out setback, set out backyard carrying we are uh, using uh, now uh, in uh, some of the country curb, alley, set out uh, setback uh, uh, set out and uh, back and carry ok these types of uh, uh, this one ok curb alley set out this one one by one I will explain ok well, curb service is used the homeowner is the responsible for uh, placing the container to be emptied at the curb on the collection day this is very important curb service homeowner is responsible for placing the container to be emptied at the at the curb on the collection day and for returning the empty container their storage location until the next collection that is called curb service ok yearly ok are the part of the mask layer of the city given residential area early storage container used for solid waste is common ok set out and set back service container are set out from the owner property and set back after emptied by the additional crews ok set out container uh, are set out from the owner property and set back after being emptied to the additional crew it is called set out and set back service next set out service ok set out service essential for the same set out back service except that the homeowner is responsible for returning the container in the same storage location this is very important 
and backyard carrying service another backyard carrying service okay backyard carrying service the collection of the crew is responsible for entering the owner property and removing the waste from the storage location removing the waste from the storage location okay this is the okay backyard carrying service the collection of a crew is responsible for entering the owner property and removing the waste their storage location this is the backyard service this is the types of uh, this one curb alley setback set out set out and backyard carrying system this is very important okay this one by one i explained what is curb what is set uh, alley what is set out setback and uh, set out and backyard carrying okay now we go for uh, this one i already explained this okay now transfer station and method in the transportation uh, uh, tra uh, transport method okay not a station transport method sorry transport method what are the different types of transport method first one is the road common is the road second one is a rail okay motor vehicle uh, roadway we are using the motor vehicle rail road okay and another one ocean ocean vessel okay motor vehicle rail road and ocean these are the three types of the transport methods we are using in india india we are majorly we are using a motor vehicle or a rail okay ocean uh, it may be okay and pneumatic uh, this one pneumatic and hydraulic system also used still the system been suggested but more have been tested okay these three are very important okay and uh, this one uh, some where it is used okay okay this is method one by one we will go for uh, this one road motor vehicle okay and uh, this is we are using a lot of uh, trucks for the moving uh, motor vehicle okay this one a vehicle must be transported at uh, waste minimum cost okay and uh, waste may be covered during having an operation vehicle must be designed for highway traffic very important design for the highway traffic uh, cost should be minimum and uh, vehicle capacity weight limited should not exceed uh, waste should not fall down all this very important in a motor truck you have seen a lot of truck i explain horse truck tilted and uh, automatic and so many left loading right and so many types of uh, trucks are there this is very important motor vehicle india we are using all uh, motor vehicle uh, system majorly okay if to the dump yard okay major uh, we are using the motor all the municipalities all cities metropolitan city, we are using the motor vehicle okay then we go for uh, uh, okay method using uh, unloading simple okay we are using this is about the motor vehicle recent year because uh, they are simplicity and uh, okay dependability uh, uh, the open top tiles and uh, similar to we have found wide expand uh, transport of uh, vehicle methods used to upload the transport tiles may be classified according to their uh, to the weathers okay the self uh, they are self emptied and requests lead axillary okay it is accessory equipment such used in this okay this is the uh, motor vehicle all we are using majorly we are using the motor vehicle trucks it may trailers on so many things are the motor vehicle is a very important part of the uh, this is uh, another one is a rail road where uh, rail road is commonly used for a large quantity of uh, waste for the few uh, communities okay uh developing in a use of railroad haul uh, solid especially in uh, remote areas where highway b is difficult railway line now exists if the proper railway line exists okay difficult for highway travels so we will use the train okay we have the container filled with waste okay and a goods train we are keeping it a goods train and taken there and dumped in some places okay railroad uh, is the common transport of the this a uh, transportation system okay this one methods of transportation okay railroad transport okay this train 
take all the container filled with the waste in the train and it is dumped to the one area where remote area where it's available. It, when there is a highway travel difficult B and uh, transportation availability of uh, uh, this one uh, dump yard uh, land and uh, uh, very difficult to get the land or any problem this type of maybe used railway or railway some countries and water transport uh, this one barrage screws and uh, this way uh, like a vessels they are used in this uh, ocean disposal is the no longer practice in developed country although ship and uh, profile vehicles uh, vehicles are once in use the most common practice of use of vehicle okay uh, through uh, by the tugs of the special board okay this uh, this is thrown uh, uh, in a, not in a shore uh, longer distance in the uh, sea uh, so many kilometer or uh, and they will throw the waste okay by the barges and uh, screws and so many their methods are used in water transport okay and uh, hydraulic transport we are used uh, pneumatic uh, transport uh, both uh, uh, pressure vacuum conduct and transportation system have been used okay uh, this I think uh, very difficult in our uh, India this one okay this very okay this is a processor used these are the three systems okay majorly we used three system okay uh, first one uh, this one see first uh, this okay rail uh, transport okay these are the four type uh, we are using motor vehicle and uh, rail and railroad and okay this of phenomenon See this uh, transport method, uh, first one uh, uh, motor vehicle, you know, motor vehicle are used for uh, transporting the this one, okay, all the motor vehicles uh, like uh, trucks, uh, different types of vehicle I have shown, okay, different types, it may be motor, uh, this one, uh, it may be tilt or uh, left uh, loading or mechanical, manual loading or different types of vehicle, uh, I told that is a motor vehicle. Railroad, where there is a highway problem or a land problem or some remote area is available, they will uh, keep the container filled with the waste in a good strike transport. And uh, this one, uh, water, it is the barges or screws are used and inside the uh, water, uh, how many kilometers from the ship, uh, ships will take, sorry, in a, and uh, dump the waste there in, a, in the uh, middle of the sea, these types of. Uh, these are the transport methods okay transportation okay where there is a there are two types one is uh, directly goes to the dump yard and another is transportation okay where there is dump yard is uh, nearly uh, it is a uh, longer distance some transportation in the transportation we are segregate the waste okay segregate the waste there okay uh, the recyclable waste are taken to the uh, to the vendors. Vendors will take the recycle uh, waste and some uh, organic waste uh, maybe goes to the composting and other waste goes to the dump yard in the transportation. Types of the transport operation used, capacity of the requirement, equipment and accessory requirement, environment requirement. That is the main factor considered to design the transportation. Types of the transport operations is used, capacity of the requirement, capacity of accessory requirement, environment requirement. These are the transportation. Okay, I will show the transportation how it will be. Okay, there are two. Uh, there are three types. Direct discharge. It will go, one is direct goes to the dump yard. Storage discharge. Okay, combined direct and storage. Okay, very important combined direct and storage three types depending upon uh, used load transport vehicle transportation may be divided into three type okay one see here direct discharge direct uh, transportation discharge to the transportation waste from the collection will empty direct in the vehicle used to transfer where the final disposal where the landfill is there there fine direct discharge okay 
a loading and uh, transportation employee okay direct discharge to the one process vehicle will come to the M, uh, place take the waste uh, in a residential take the waste and directly it goes to the dump yard and one okay one process transportation second on storage some places waste are stored okay transportation okay waste are emptied and there their processing is done okay cutting cutting the waste separation magnetic separation ferrous ferrous uh, iron substances it is removed by mechanically uh, and uh, by magnetic separation and uh, separation paper is separated manually or mechanically in the one of the storage uh, discharge okay manually or this one different different separate organic waste is separated it is goes to the comp uh, this one uh, manure making the organic manure ferrous metal it is separated it is taken by the vendor uh, and it is a paper is separated it is taken wood is separated or uh, this is the process of st storage discharge in the storage discharge we will separate all the waste okay in one place it in most this waste directly won't go to the dump yard we will separate it one uh, this one then it moves to the unwanted waste moves to the dump yard okay next one combined direct and storage discharge some transfer to both methods are usually used these are multi purpose facility designed in the border range of the single purpose facility in addition to serve serving the border range of the addition of the serving the border range of the user the multi purpose transportation can be housed material sewage are used operation okay see factor affecting location of transportation okay as near possible way to enter to the of the individual solid waste production area to be served okay within the easy accessories of the major highways routes will be nearly secondary okay uh, dear student uh, thank you okay i will continue in the next class this morning